What is up guys, this is Tito back with another video on the Redmi Note 10 Pro and today in this video I'm gonna be showing you the latest project matrix ROM and this is the version 10.4.1 11th April 2024 build by the way. This ROM is really really light guys even though it includes the G apps this ROM is actually about 1.64 GB as you can see from here. So this is pretty much I would say it's a very light ROM and that's because it has actually removed the Leica camera but right now it comes with a line US kind of camera as you can see this is the stock camera over here. I'll talk about it a little bit later. I have thoroughly tested the camera and all but do not judge this ROM depending just on the camera guys because the overall stability here that I have been looking at it's a really really smooth ROM like everywhere the animations and all everything just feels so snappy everywhere so I'll talk about each and everything to stay tuned till the end. In the Android version section this is how it looks like it has this matrix device written and it has the project matrix kind of logo right here shows the wallpaper and it shows the device name as Redmi Note 10 Pro and in the proper Android version section you will get this kind of animation looks great and the Android version is of course Android 14 we have the device maintainer as come list so huge thanks to the developer of this ROM and we have the security patch that is April 5th 2024 so you are getting latest security patch right out of the box the stock kernel here is the 4.14 open ELA kernel and we have the build date as 7th April here it shows for some reason. In the system settings this is how it looks like everywhere you will get an animation like this so it looks really nice. We have the gestures right here and in here we'll have the quickly open camera then we have the navigation mode and in here if you go into the settings of it we have the pill length, pill radius customization, back gesture height and the animation and stuff then we have the IME space customization and swipe to invoke assistant is also there as you can see the google's gemini is actually working perfectly fine tapping and holding on the pill bar it doesn't actually give you the circle to search but yeah that's fine we have the left edge right edge customization again in the navigation settings we have the two button and three button navigations as well then we have the one-handed mode which is actually working fine we have the press and hold power button action customization the double tap and we have the prevent ringing option now on the bottom we have the system updater and you can check for updates it shows another update over here but this is the update that i'm on already so that's how it is but yeah it does have that line us kind of updater and we have the developer option because i have enabled it now let me talk about the stock launcher first well this is the stock launcher that you are getting it's actually the project matrix kind of launcher in the settings of it we have the icon settings first we have the icon packs and all then we have the notification dots and stuff. Now we have the home screen customization. In here we have the lock layout, add app icons to the home screen, double tap to sleep and the wallpaper scrolling and zooming and the parallax kind of stuff. So it is a really like customizable launcher, no need to worry. In the app drawer, we have the force monochromed kind of theme engine and we have the themed icons. I have enabled that for the app drawer as well. Let me go back, we have the recents and in here we have the memory info, the clear all, kill app and the lens pin app screenshot and shake phone to clear all task option. You can have all of these. In the miscellaneous settings, we have the taskbar, then we have the allow home screen rotation. Now here, we also get a hidden and protected apps to lock particular apps. And we have the session disabling option as well. Let me go back. We have the action toast and the restart option for the launcher. Now to the left of the home screen, we have the Google's discover page. It is a really smooth experience. Swiping up will get you to the app drawer. And as you can see, all the icons right now is actually themed icons. So I have enabled that, but you can also disable that if you don't like it. And even in the home screen, as you can see, we have the themed icons. The widgets are mostly working, this clock widget animations and stuff, opening and closing, it's working fine. But this battery widget, I think it's not working, it shows loading right now. So the battery widget actually may or may not work, not really sure. But the good thing is there is double tap to sleep in the blank area of the home screen, so that's nice. Let me just unlock the device and this is how it looks like. And swiping down on the home screen, you will get the quick setting panel, which looks like this. We have the separate Wi-Fi and mobile data toggle, you can add them. And we have added the always on display kind of toggle and you can just toggle it on or off. We have the Google Home controls. The screen recorder is also there and we have this single app or entire screen kind of feature. Then we have the device audio and microphone audio recording at the same time and all the other features that you are looking at. We have the hotspot, the battery saver, dark theme, night light, and the refresh rate, you can change it to auto or something else. We also get a FPS info right here and as you can see the display, it's currently running at 120 FPS. It's actually adaptive. We have the alarm airplane mode, do not disturb and we have the QR code scanner and all. Then in the power menu, let me show you, this is how it looks like. You can have the advanced reboot. You can directly reboot the recovery or fast boot from here. By the way, if you don't know how to flash this ROM on your Redmi Note 10 Pro, you can check out the flashing guide from the description. And the volume panel here looks like this. You can actually change the whole look of this volume panel in case you want that. This ROM definitely offers huge, huge amount of customization. But you know what the sad part is about this ROM? Let me actually go into the wallpapers and styles. Here, even though this is an Android 14 ROM, 
it does not have the android 14 kind of clock styles and we have the shortcuts then we have the more kind of clock screen customization and the home screen settings we have the change wallpaper option you can also use the project matrix kind of wallpapers let me just set this wallpaper for the time being and this is how it looks like with this wallpaper it looks great i would say and we also get the app grid kind of customization and you will get up to 6 by 10 but i have been using it with a 5 by 5 we have the icon customization and plethora of icons are there for the icon pack and we also have the font styles amazing amount of font style options let me talk about the basic things over here this rom does offer the drm info as l1 so you can stream netflix or amazon prime videos in 1080p also it passes the basic integrity and the device integrity test so banking apps will be working perfectly fine and even in play store it shows as device is certified so that's nice and this rom also offers the pixel can backup unlimited photos and videos at no charge so that's nice feature to have by the way, this ROM offers a auxiliary kind of dialer. I think we have the auto call recording all the time and you can even change the formats over here. You are getting this gallery app and we have the messaging app as well and we have the audio effects then this Oxio kind of player over here. Some of the apps are actually not included like the fresh walls and all and we have the game space, the recorder kind of app all these things right out of the box. So this ROM in my opinion does offer proper apps that you will need on day to day basis. And Vaulty calling and all will be working perfectly fine if you insert a Vaulty SIM card, no need to worry about it. Let me talk about the camera. Well, you are getting this lineage kind of camera and it does click basic pictures and all and we have the video settings right here as well. There is some kind of customization like you can put it to 1080p, 60fps and all for the video and you can even switch to the photo mode and you actually do not have any kind of portrait mode or something like that. Do not expect any kind of portrait mode but it does have the lens switching option as you can see all the lenses you can switch from right here 2x zooming option as well it's actually working fine no need to worry it is a basic camera guys so i have actually installed a gcam and i'll also link this particular gcam in the description box below no need to worry this gcam i got from the redmi note 10 plus photography kind of group and this i would say definitely gives you one of the best quality pictures if you are someone who is into photography and all and even with this all the lenses should be working fine like the 0.7x or the ultra wide angle lens it's actually working fine even the 2x zooming options should be working fine as well and in terms of videos you can actually go full hd and 60 fps and 4k 30 fps it's recommended do not go 4k 60 fps this device will work a little bit weirdly if you go 4k 60 fps but yeah this gcam does offer the portrait kind of pictures so that's nice to have so i hope you are getting the idea with the gcam and with the normal line juice kind of stock camera how is the camera quality yes if it had the Leica camera right out of the box that would have been better i have seen sometimes this force close kind of happens as you can see just like restarting the ui i think so that's how it is and by the way the lock screen looks like this I have customized it. I'll show you the customization panel later on. Now, let me show you in the app settings. This is how it looks like. We also have these animations everywhere. And if you go in the bottom, we have the cloned apps. That is the dual apps kind of feature. You can add any app that you would want the dual apps feature to have. And we have the notification customization. In here also, we will get the flash notification kind of functionality. And it works great. No need to worry. We have all the other features like the heads up and all. And we also have the battery settings right here. Let me talk about it. Yes, it has this kind of animation. Looks beautiful. We have the battery usage and this battery percentage in bold font. We have the charging control as well. If you enable that, your fast charging may drop. So make sure if you're concerned about your battery's health, only then enable this charging control. And we have the battery optimization per app you can do from here. We have the idle manager then we also have the battery information and in here we will also get to see the battery cycle count my device has or my battery has actually 353 charging cycles maximum capacity you can see from right here and even the design capacity and the battery temperature also shows up right here this is the original battery i'm still using after three to four years so i would say do consider that while judging the battery life i am getting about five hours and 40 minutes of screen on time these all are estimated numbers but still i would say it's a decent number the screen of here shows as 32 hours so that's obviously more than a day and even the combined use it shows about a day of usage so that's nice and in the health section as well for me the battery health shows up as 81 percent which is i would say again a decent amount of number so overall with the battery life i'm satisfied no complaints and the fast charging here also should be working perfectly fine in the sound settings, this is how it looks like. We have all these animations. Let me just scroll down. We have the ringtone vibration pattern changing option, dial pad tone, screen locking sound, etc. disabling option. We have this charging sounds as well. You can enable or disable them if you want to. By the way, we are getting this audio effects. This is the old kind of looking audio effects. Looks great. 
and you can also change the presets over here you can have a custom preset if you want to and you can also adjust the bass and all so yeah this will work if you are someone who is into audio stuff in the display settings this is how it looks like again the animation looks beautiful we have the brightness level the auto brightness kind of is a gimmick as of right now in android 14 because most of the roms are coming with the line juice kind of sources i guess and most of them do not have auto brightness working properly and we have the extra dim feature right here in the lock screen, we have this kind of animation again, and we have the privacy controls right here. We have the device controls, and we have the shortcut changing option on the lock screen. Now, we have the ambient display right here, but this ROM, I would say, does not offer any kind of like lift to check phone or pick up gesture kind of feature, which is, in my opinion, a bummer because I love that particular feature, but here you do not get that. But with always on display, let me show you how it looks. It looks properly beautiful, in my opinion. Just notice we have this kind of clock over here, which is doing that kind of animation. It is looking beautiful, in my opinion. So if you're someone who is into always on display stuff, you can definitely use it. But not having the pickup gesture in this particular ROM is a bummer still. It will definitely take a huge hit on the battery if you're using always on display on this ROM with this kind of animated clock and stuff. So that is how I feel. But overall, in terms of the look of the always on display, much more unique look in my opinion, and it is definitely looking awesome. And there is a scheduling option for the always on display in case you want to use that. Let me go back. We have the screen timeout. You have up to 30 minutes option. Then we have the lock screen timeout as well. Dark theme options are there and there is the pitch black option or the pure black option. I have been using it with that. No issues. We have the nightlight option as well. And there is the schedule option for the nightlight as well. You have the live display as well. And you can actually change the colors of the whole UI from here. And we have the colors option. You can change it to boosted, adaptive or saturated. I have been using it with the boosted option. There is the rotation settings as well. You can use it with 180 degree and stuff. There is the refresh rate and you can actually have this adaptive refresh rate. By the way, it is enabled by default. And 120 Hz, it's actually working fine, no issues. We have the double tap to sleep, double tap to wake and the wake up on plug right here. Now let me show you the security settings. This is how it looks like. We have the more stuff. Here you will not get any kind of app lock, but the app lock is itself there in the launcher settings, which I already talked about. In the device settings, in the settings of it, we have the auto confirmation lock and all other features like here. We have the fingerprint and face unlock settings right here. Okay, so I already have the always on display enabled. And here, if I just double tap, it just locked the device and this is the always on display. And if I just tap the fingerprint scanner, just notice how smooth the unlocking is. And everywhere, the animation over here in this ROM, it's just very smooth. It looks great in my opinion and the double tap to wake let me show you yes that too it's working perfectly fine and tapping on the fingerprint scanner always unlocks perfectly fine no problems whatsoever that i have had with the fingerprint scanner and of course you can disable the touch to unlock anytime if you want the fingerprint scanner to be pressed while unlocking now let me just set up the face unlock setting up of the face unlock is done and in the settings this is how it looks like i think it will straight up unlock but let's try it and here if i just double tap as you can see it straight up unlocks let me try one more time and point the device towards my face and it unlocks so yes it's fast no problems whatsoever with the face unlock but yes i would have loved to see a swipe up kind of feature for the face unlock to be working just like this by the way the app lock and all working perfectly fine it shows this kind of window over here and once you tap the fingerprint scanner the app will perfectly unlock and go wherever you left it. So yeah, app lock and stuff, it's working great. Right now, let me just open Chrome and I have the STFO website open right here. As you can see, it loads up pretty fine. And here in the FPS section, it shows about 90 plus FPS. So that's fine, I would say. 120 Hertz pretty much, in my opinion, for this particular device, it's working great. No problems, as you can see, it goes even above 98 plus. So yeah, and here, if I open Twitter and if I open different apps like Play Store, let's open this file explorer as well. Now here, if I just switch between apps, just notice how fast it can do that. And it's just a blazing fast experience in my opinion. And even in the like recent apps, this is how it looks like. And here you can actually take a screenshot, lock particular apps. You can go into the Google Lens kind of feature. We also have the RAM usage status on the bottom. And as you can see, even though I have opened a couple of apps, it just has used 1.2 GB of RAM. And that's pretty light in my opinion. And here we have the clear all button right here. And if you want to go into the split screen kind of mode, there is the option for that. And as you can see, everything, it's just a very smooth experience. I can just go home and just like switch between apps very smoothly, no problem so far. So everywhere, this ROM definitely gives you much better experience overall in terms of day-to-day -day performance, in my opinion. And here are the benchmarks that I have tested with this particular Project Matrix ROM on the Redmi Note 10 Pro. Now it's time that I will show you the customizations. Those are there in this matrix settings. In here, we have the about matrix kind of section. You can donate to the developers, I guess, from here. And we have the buttons on first section. We have this click to take personal screenshot. 
power menu kind of customization is there and just notice the amount of customization i'm not going to talk about everything we have the long press power button toggle torch and stuff and we have the lock screen customization and this is the like lock screen clock that i have been using but you have plethora of options like these and you can also go with the ios kind of style if you want that option and we have the clock font style as well these are like the android 13 kind of font styles that we used to get with custom roms and just notice 100 plus options are pretty much there for the font style of the clocks of the lock screen we have the battery info the temperature kind of unit and we have the weather settings right here double tap to sleep refill effect in the power menu kind of thing and inside we have the miscellaneous settings we have the high developer status so that's nice we have the ignore window secure flags game space is of course there we can have the gaming overlay with the fps and all we have the unlimited google photo storage netflix poof and we have the swipe quick screenshot also works perfectly fine share edit delete google lens and even the capture mode feature does appear we have the sensor block bar package even the pocket detection is there in the navigations this is how it looks like we have the navigation bar pixel animation and we have the customization for it then we have the notification customization in here we have the toast animation clipboard overlay alert slider notification and we have the four stop we have the island notification as well and we have the less boarding kind of thing timeout and we have the blink flashlight for incoming calls then we have the quick setting panel customization header image the battery style you can customize dual tone theme and we have the background opacity and all so you can have less opacity for the background i guess let me show you yes as you can see the background opacity i think the background opacity is without blur and you can actually change the brightness slider position from right here we have the haptic feedback and the other customizations that you are looking at from here just notice how many of them are there we have the sound settings right here again and we have the in-call vibrations volume panel timeout and even the volume panel style you can actually change to something like the gradient kind of option and with that this is how it will look like so let me go back we have the status bar customization in here we have the status bar icons and this is how it looks like we have the headset bluetooth kind of icons over here the clock style the clock and date font style and we have the 4g icon then the vo wi-fi icon as well wi-fi standards and if you just scroll down more we have the show notification count as well and the notification icon numbers and we have the battery style changing option as well and just notice the amount of battery styles are there i have been using it with the ios 16 style and we have more customizations like the battery bar and stuff brightness control by sliding a finger on the status bar will be working fine even double tap to sleep on the status bar works great no problems and we also have the status bar padding for the top left and right you can actually do every customization that you wish for in the user interface we have the settings home page kind of changing option we have the ui style the font style the font styles will appear like this plethora of fonts we including with the nothing dot font and stuff everything is there we have the icon packs as well these are the options and even the signal icon styles are there plethora of options for that now wi-fi icon styles as well are there and just notice the amount of options even for the icon shapes ambient display customization is there there is the scheduling option and stuff there is the music ticker and even the ambient display customization but sadly again we don't have the pickup gesture we have the charging animation full screen app screen of animation smart pixels and even the floating rotate button option so those are all the customizations this ROM offers and that is just a huge amount of customizations in my opinion. I feel the Project Matrix definitely is one of the best ROMs out there for the Redmi Note 10 Pro in my opinion at least. If you do not require the Leica camera on a day to day basis, if you do require that definitely I won't recommend you this ROM. Maybe go with some other ROMs like the Project Elixir or stuff like that. But definitely you can get away with the G Cam and all. At least that's how I feel. Because Redmi Note 10 Pro definitely offers great camera hardware. But definitely in terms of customizations, this ROM pretty much surpasses most of the ROMs out there. Let me know in the comments what do you guys think. Thank you so much for watching this video guys. Give it a thumbs up if you liked it. Share this video with your friends if you feel like. This is Tito from KTNX signing off for today. And I'll be catching you guys in the next one. Bye bye now.